Hi everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card you will need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths folded and scored in half and burnished. Two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside Ooh. and one for the top, and a small piece of white cardstock at three inches square. This is for the inner circle. Right, you also need to use the stamp sets falling flowers and we're going to use that image that image and the leaves and I'm using a new stamp set all that you are this is in the occasional catalog and all I'm going to use is that happy birthday I'm also going to use an embossing folder this is a cutterbug embossing folder and it's a dynamic um, let me see if you can see this there you can see what it does so that we'll use that in a minute and I'm also going to use the layering circles now I think I used that one yep that one and that one. So that is number one, two, three, four, number five and six, with the smallest one being number one. So I'm using five and six. Leave them out. So to get started, what we need is the big shot. Because we can't do nothing to a car circle. So we get this, the top layer, and the big circle, and you place that in the middle, but about an inch from the top. An equal distance either side. Run that through, cut it out. So you get your circle. Do not throw this away. You need this bit. Right. With the smaller circle, you just plunk it in the middle of your three by three and cut it out. That you don't really need the inner of this circle. You don't need that. Right, that's them. Right, you take your first bit back and you put it inside your button folder. Do not um, emboss first because when you cut your circles, it will flatten your embossing. Oh, that is the bottom one. So. Run that through. Run it back. And now we have a lovely embossed card. Right. Now, I have already cut my flowers out. I stamped, let's put all these back. 
stamped and cut all my flowers but I haven't coloured them but I will stamp some more flowers for you because there is a way of stamping them so you need some scrap your black memento ink now on this stamp you'll see there's a nudge there make sure you get some ink on that nudge stamp it down and see the nudges come out we want that to come out because that shows you where to put your um, embossing no not embossing your <coughs> die cuts dies let's put these away before I lose them right throw them at the back of the table right and with the die it also has a nudge so you place that bit that sticks out on the ink bit and that way you know you're going to cut your die out the right way it will fit if you do it, turn it round it won't fit so that is what them bits are for so you need two of these you need two leaves I'm just going to stamp one of each this doesn't have a nudge on it because there's only one way you can cut it out and two of the buds and that's all you need and then you just run them through the dies of the big shot and cut them out and I have got them all here cut out so before we colour them in bring your circle back this is the big one and with your happy birthday and we're going to change the colour to flirty flamingo so with the flirty flamingo ink Your happy birthday stamp. You want to stamp that at the top of the circle. I think I might have gone over the edge. No, I haven't. So I'll just get the cloth and clean it. There we are. And Clean my leaves. <coughs> Sorry about that. So that's that done. Right, put that to one side. To colour these in. Right, with Flirty Flamingo, I'm going to use um, Mossy Meadow for the green and Daffodil Delight for the buds. So, let's do the flowers first. Right, one of them, you just colour them. all over I 
I think they might have changed the brushes on these, the new colours they're bringing out. Because this brush is a lot firmer than the older brushes and bigger. So that's the flower. Right, on the second flower, you colour the inside. Just the inside flower. This um, nibs like the old nib. Right, let's look at this. Look at the difference in the nibs. The light is very thick and firm, whereas the dark is like the rest of them. Weird. Right, so you just colour that in. And with the daffodil to light, just colour in the centrepiece. Right, might as well while we go out and do the buds. And with the mossy meadow, we shall do the leaves. One done. <coughs> of course, you can colour them all in before you cut them out. paper snips and what we're going to do is cut this middle one out quite easy to do you just follow it round
There we are. Get rid of these. And that will go on like that there with a dimensional. So I'll stick a dimensional on there now. And this will also go on dimensionals. I'll just stick three on there. That's our leaves, that's our circle. So we can now put this card together. So we did three inch square piece. You can stick that on there so it's showing on this where the dies cut. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. There it leaves a line, an impression from the die. All you need to do is follow that impression and you get an even uh, border. So with our glue we will stick that down and then just Now we have, oh, not very even, is it? Do. Right, on our happy birthday, needs to be glued in there. Just underneath. So what I am going to do is just put a little line of glue just around the edge of our happy birthday and put that in there and then press it down. Can you see that? I hope you saw me put it on. And then we'll stick this on the card base. Right. Use plenty of glue on this. I'm like that. Now with our flowers, we'll have one going up there and one going down like that. We also have a yellow bud just below the happy birthday and one there and then this will sit and that will sit on there. So, let's stick these on. With our glue, we'll stick all this side. And 
this one we can stick in the fall of it. Take the backings off our flower. And stick that there. And then this one. In there. That looks pretty, doesn't it? What did I do inside? Just a flower. So let's stamp a flower on the inside. Should have done this before so that it will dry. Right now, this time I don't want ink on the nudge. because I'm not cutting it out. And then I had, which I never got out, the little leaf. Just put two little leaves on this uh, yeah. like that there and one up there right Shake that a minute and we'll quickly colour this in. Let's see if I can colour it quicker with a flatten. So, and then the last bit, which is in the dark, 
Leute, Flamengo. Oh. Let's <coughs> get some. Daffer do the light out and colour the centre in. this oh, yeah. oh got rad there's some gems. On this one I added gold ones. So on this one I'm going to add silver ones. Or clear ones. This idea did come from Pinterest. It's not all my own. Yeah, it was on Pinterest. Let's see if I can find the lady's name. Let me just look. Pinterest. Is Terry George, I think it is, stamping stamp me crafty. That's what she goes by, so that's where I've copied it from or cased it from. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the notification button and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.